what is the right food you have asked what the right food is indeed the food that can give you the feeling of weightlessness is right food the food that gives you the feeling of being burdened feeling happy is not the right food all non vegetarian foods make you more rooted in the earth you cannot fly vegetarian foods give you wings you have an inner feeling that you now you can levitate you can just go out of the gravitational pull of the earth also when the food is cooked lovingly and meditatively it gives you satiation a feeling of weightlessness and you are beyond the gravitational pull of the earth it gives you the feeling that you can levitate this is the right way to cook food and then more happily and joyously and the more relaxed and without worry a person can take his meal the more his food starts becoming the right food a violent diet does not mean that man eats non vegetarian foods alone it is also violent food when you eat with anger both of these things are violent while eating in anger in suffering in worry man is also eating violently you do not realize at all that just as you are violent when eating the flesh of something else so when your own flesh burns up inside due to anger or worry violence is present there too then the food which you are eating cannot be non violent the other part of the right food is that you should eat in a very peaceful a very joyful state if you are not in such a state then it is better to wait until you are and not to eat for a while when the mind is absolutely ready only then should you take the meals for how long will the mind not be ready if you are aware enough to wait at the most it can remain hungry for only one day but we have never bothered to listen to it we have made eating a completely mechanical process one has to put food into the body and then leave the dining table it is no longer a psychological process that is dangerous on the level of the body right food should be healthy non stimulating and non violent on the psychological level the mind should be in a blissful state graceful and joyous and on the level of the being there should be a feeling of gratefulness these three things if they are in your food the way you are cooking the way you are consuming the way you are serving makes the food right we are eating food we are drinking water we are breathing we should have a sense of gratefulness about all this towards the whole life towards the whole existence towards the entire nature towards the divine there should be a feeling of gratefulness i have received one more day to live once more i have received the right food to eat for one more day i am seeing the sun seeing the flowers blossoming i am again alive today this feeling of gratitude should be there in all aspects of life and very particularly while consuming our meals only then your food can become the right for this we have to go into an inquiry into different bodies man consists of many bodies these are known as sheets man is not one body instead he has many layers of bodies the body we know is only the outermost inside it there is another body and inside that another ancient masters have divided into five layers or five sheets food sheet is the first and the foremost and the grossest of all the sheets the first known body is the food body 
or the physical body or it is known as annamaya kosh anna means food body the sheet that subsists on food ordinarily we remain attached to this body we are in a deep illusion and remain identified with the physical one this attachment to the physical body will not allow you to move within but why does this attachment happen indeed it happens because we do not know anything beyond our body we have never become aware that inside this body there is another body or another sheet this body is so solid and so non transparent that you cannot have any glimpse of it this solidity of the body means that we have been using foods that make it even more solid this body can be made transparent as well just like a glass body through which you can have the glimpse of what is inside the change of food is bound to change the quality of your physical body the change of eating habits the life style is going to change the quality of your physical body food is not just energy it is also a qualitative thing food is not just fuel instead it contributes to something more than fuel it gives you either transparency or non transparency the insight into this phenomena can mutate and you can have altogether a different type of body and it is not so difficult to change this body human body is a flux every moment it goes on changing itself it is a process not a static one the moment you come here you had another body now the body has changed it is changing constantly every moment a word is spoken there is a change taking place within your anatomy within your psychology every moment it is like it is river like moving changing and pulsating not something like which is static if you change the direction the body takes a jump only the direction has to change one should become aware that whatever one is eating must be such that it does not make one's body heavy this heaviness that i am speaking of is not concerned with me sometimes you feel that you are weightless as if you can fly therefore the food that can give you the feeling of weightlessness is the right food the food that gives you the feeling of being burdened is not the right food food is right if it does not create the gravitational pull and you remember gravitational pull gravitation force always pulls you towards the earth body is the earth element and if the food pulls you towards the body then it is gravitational if you pulls away from the body then it becomes non gravitational if you can feel non physically it is good really the body is felt only when it is heavy when you have the feeling of happiness within only then you feel the body when the body is not happy with wrong foods you are bodiless that is why when body is diseased or it is ill you feel it when it is healthy you do not feel it you feel like something very light you can frisk gaily you can run you can fly like butterflies you feel your head only when there is a headache when there is no headache you do not feel the presence of the head so to define health positively there is only one way a person who is not feeling his body is healthy the more you feel your body the more ill you are because when the body is really healthy there is no need to feel it only pain is felt and if you even feel pleasure it must be a sort of pain pleasure is never felt because only a disturbance is felt silence is never felt only noise is felt and if you can begin to feel the silence something deeper is happening real authentic silence is never felt when you are not feeling any noise or you remain unaffected by the noise know this is silence 
Normally, a dog barks, a car passes, and you feel disturbed. You get affected by it. When all these things have no influence on you or no does not have any kind of effect on you, then there is silence. When you are not feeling your body, it means you are not feeling any disturbance. You are healthy. So the feeling of bodilessness leads you to the feeling of health. Any food that gives you a feeling of bodilessness is good and indeed is the right food. So be discriminative, be consciously discriminative. Do not eat anything which makes you more embodied, which makes you more of a body. Go on eliminating all that gives you a bodiness, a sense of the body, a sense of the earth. And then you will begin to transform your body towards a transparency. It may look paradoxical, but it is true. When you are really healthy, you are desireless. Illness and unhealthiness creates desires of many dimensions and kinds. This is one of the basic distinctions between the Eastern and Western thinking. The West contents that to be filled with desire means you are healthy, but their understanding is very shallow because desire is a disturbance within. Something is still incomplete, that's why the desire is there. Something is incomplete, so there is an urge to fulfill it. But when you are really healthy, you are so fulfilled, you are so complete. The circle is so complete that there is no more desire. You do not desire anything. You are just happy as you are. Desire means you are incomplete. Somewhere, something is still lacking. Somewhere, something is absent. Somewhere, you are feeling a vacuum. This is what illness means, a vacuum. Illness indeed means a vacuum. Health means so much fulfilled, so much filled that there is no more space available for anything. There is no vacuum. When there is no inner space, there is no desire. So, a re healthy person really is desireless. And really healthy person is bodiless as well. These both are associated. To be body is to be in desire. And to be in desire is to be happy with body. Make your body as if it is not. The more absent, the better. The more present, the more you are falling downwards. You can just become a stone and many are there. Most of you are just stones. They only feel awake when the body demands something. Otherwise, they remain fast asleep. When the body demands, they feel awake, then the demand is fulfilled and again they go back to their sleep. One should create a body which has needs but not demands. There is a vast difference between needs and the body. Needs are natural. Demands become crazy and obsessions. They make you crazy. Demands means you are addicted. The body is the master. All the austerities were not meant as suicidal methods. They were not masochists. They were really an inner transformation. They were really a change of innerness. When a man of awareness is fasting, it is not to destroy the body. It is to destroy the demands, body demands. When you are, and through the demands, you get into an addiction. Someone get addicted to coke, someone get addicted to this or that. Understand it very clearly. When a man of awareness is fasting, he is not destroying his body. Instead, he is changing the seat of power. Who is the ma who the master is really? The, mo the body must not be the master. Otherwise, you cannot move within. You cannot be transformed. The master is outside. How can you go within? You are just a slave and you have to be around the master. The power seat must be transformed from body to something within. A slave has needs but no demands. A slave has needs but no commandments. The commanding must remain with the master and the master must be within, not outside. The deeper the master, the more you have the freedom. So when a man of awareness is on fast, 
it is to change the seat of power. He is saying to his body now, I will fulfill your needs, but never your demand. The body will struggle. No one can lose the power because the body does not want to lose its power and grip over you. The master, the sovereignty so easily. And you have lived with the body as the master for millennia. The body was never challenged in any way. So the mastery has become natural. It has become such an old habit that the body even cannot conceive it. What nonsense are you talking? Who is the master? You have always been slave. Always have you gone crazy. The orders have always been issued by the body. And you have always followed. And what does austerity mean? Austerity means that now you are not ready to continue this status quo. This is state of affairs. The body will struggle. The fight is really not from inside. The fight is from outside. But the body is very subtle and miraculous mechanism. It adjusts to anything if you have the will. The greater the will, the sooner the body is adjusted to it. It begins to feel. Now the sovereignty is lost. And really when the mastery, the sovereignty is lost, the body becomes more healthy. Because now it is natural. But as such as you are, your body is not natural. The mastery of the body is very unnatural. It is not healthy even to the body. Because body has no consciousness. Remember, body has no consciousness. And that is why it goes on demanding. The body has no discrimination and goes on demanding endlessly. It goes on doing things which are not even good for it. Consciousness becomes the slave and the material desires, the mechanical ones become the master. This is the deepest misery that has happened to man. But in a way it had to because we have developed from animal existence. We have developed from animal existence. There is no need for any Darwin to prove this. We have known it always because an animal has no consciousness. The body has to be the master. There is no one other than other to claim the mastery because there is no one else. You have not explored, you have not experienced anything beyond the body. So body ultimately remains the master. The body has to be the master but consciousness grows with him. The body goes on. It is just like old habit. But because we have not experienced the withinness, we have not experienced consciousness. You have to change. You are not in the animal world. Now you are not animals. Therefore, austerity means that now we declare we have passed the state of animal. The suffering that one goes through in austerity is just a birth pain. You are going to be reborn. And that suffering is good and healthy because out of that suffering, the process of transformation begins. You move from the body, body to consciousness, from outer to the inner. But this should not be done. Message is to me. That is altogether a different method, a very diseased aspect. You can make your body suffer and enjoy it. If you are enjoying it, then it is suicidal. Then it is not austerity. Then it is not austerity. Instead, you are very important and violent. You cannot do violence to others. So you go on doing the violence to yourself. So you can fast as a messagist. As a person who enjoys suffering, this cannot be austerity. This is abnormal and a state of mental case. Out of 100, 99% of people go on austerities as messages. They can deceive, they can deceive others and themselves too. To deceive others is irrelevant, but to deceive oneself is very dangerous. You can deceive yourself. Point to understand is that one must not enjoy suffering in any way. One must take it as as a necessary measure. When you are fasting, it is a necessary measure. That is another. It must go, you must go through it as a cleansing process. One must go through as a process of purity 
as catharsis, as change, as mutation, then it is an altogether different. One must accept it but not enjoy it. That is, if you are enjoying it, then it is not our austerity instead it is madness. This has to be remembered. Never enjoy suffering because that is abnormal. To suffer, suffering is normal, but to accept it as a necessity, as an inevitability is another thing. Accept it, go through it, but never enjoy it. You have to do it because you have been an abnormal heritage. One day you have to assert your humanity against the animal heritage. You have to assert yourself. You have to make your body know exactly now that body is not the master. And once the body has known it, it adjusts. And really the body is freed from the responsibility it cannot carry. It cannot be the master because it has no consciousness. The consciousness, the mass consciousness alone can be the master. Not that which does not have consciousness. Body has no awareness. It is automatic. It is a mechanical device. The body is an automatic device. It goes on working like a robot. If you make it the master, it goes on demanding without any consciousness, without any discrimination, without any intelligence. It has mechanical intelligence, just like computer. It goes on demanding and demanding. It has a built-in process of how to demand, but without any consciousness. Without any consciousness, it tells you when you are hungry. It tells you what to eat. It tells you what to do. But this whole arrangement is just mechanical. It goes on repeating itself again and again. That is why persons who live with body feels life as a boredom. That is why persons who live with the body feel life as a boredom. Because body can only repeat. It can only repeat and goes on repeating continuously. So we are just repeating every day the same thing. It is a circle, closed circle. The same thing, the same demands, the same desires, same lusts. The body goes on repeating and repeating. And in the end one feels just bored. But still one cannot do anything about it. Even if you feel bored, again the next day, the body will demand the same thing. It will move in the same automatic way, robot life. You will have to supply because you have never been in any command. This physical layer is the first layer. It is the primary layer, the outermost. If you can be aware that you are unnecessarily the slave, and need not be. Then change your body habits consciously. By and by change. Change the seat of power. Be more in control and give to the body all that is needed by it but never fulfill its addictions. It will be painful in the beginning but it is bliss. When you have reached beyond the body, you have become the master. And when you are on the throne, it is one of the deepest bliss ever possible. Matter and energy are not two things. Matter is just energy. Energy is just matter. Two states of the same thing. This is why in order to change your eating habits and all things that relates to the body being the master, I keep on introducing you to change changes, how to bring about changes in your lifestyle by bringing more and more awareness about the food eating habits, what you should eat and what you should not and when and how. It is in this series, it is because of this reason that I decided to speak to you on the different aspects of the food. If you do not know the ingredients, the contents that you should use, how can your food be right? You must know how to cook your food lovingly and meditatively and use the ingredients rightly. Then a different kind of awareness begins. You will not be gravitating towards the body. Instead, you are moving away from the gravitational pull of body, which is earth element, and you move to the other elements, which are the constituents of your physical existence. The water, the ether, the earth. Earth is the element that we are 
gravitated to naturally. So this is the last of the talks on what the right food is. And after this, we will go into the details of the different kind of spices, herbs and dry fruits and how they form the essential part of our diet and a journey from gravitational food to non-gravitational food.